loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? A lot of people become discouraged. They become frustrated and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. Take quitting out your vocabulary. Take it out. Cry if you must. Rest if you must. But the worst thing you can do is quit. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. When you leave what you're fighting for, what's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you're a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you're a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you're a champ, do you have a mentality of a champ? The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. You've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment.